Multisaw welcomes all of you to today's session on Red Hat Certified System Administrator, that is RHCSA. Multisoft conducts online training for RHCSA. That is beneficial for individuals who aim to become Linux system administration experts. Candidates learn how to perform core system administration tasks required in Red Hat Enterprise Linux environments. Let's start with the agenda. I will begin with an introduction to Red Hat Certified System Administrator along with a brief about its owner that is Red Hat. Further, we will move on to its certification and exam details and then discuss about the scope of Linux and later get to know about the course details. This will include the target audience and the course outline. The next section will be sneak preview where I'll briefly explain one of the important topics from the course. This will give you a fair understanding about how online training will happen at Multisoft. Next, we will discuss about Multisoft online training for RHCSA in terms of learning resources and at the end, I'll summarize the session for you. So let's begin. I will give you an introduction to the Red Hat Certified System Administrator. Red Hat Certified System Administrator is a globally recognized certification. It validates an individual's administrative skills required for managing Linux Enterprise OS. RHCSA also is the pathway to earn the Red Hat Certified Engineer Certification. There is a huge demand for Linux professionals in the industry. Now that we have a brief idea about RHCSA, let us gain an understanding about its significance. RHCSA focuses on the actual competencies of system administration, which includes the installation and configuration of a Red Hat Linux system, also, the RHCSA exam is performance based and it tests your knowledge and skills in the area of system administration common across a wide range of environments and deployment scenarios. Last but not the least, according to various industry research groups, Red Hat certification has been on the list of top 10 IT professional global certifications consistently. This shows the importance, demand and value of certified Red Hat professionals in the industry. Since it has been a while that I've been talking about RHCSA, I will share some details about Red Hat with you all. Red Hat is an American multinational software company providing open source software products to the enterprise community. It was founded in 1993 and has its corporate headquarters in North Carolina. It has become associated to a large extent with its enterprise operating system Red Hat Enterprise Linux and with the acquisition of open source enterprise middleware vendor JBoss. Red Hat also offers Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization that is RHEV which is an enterprise virtualization product. Now let me share the certification details related to the course. A Red Hat Certified System Administrator possesses core administrative skills required to manage Linux Enterprise Operating Systems. In terms of target audience, this credential is ideal for individuals with experience in system administration tasks for Red Hat Enterprise Linux environments. Candidates who have already attended the Red Hat System Administration 1 and 2 training can also take the RHCSA exam. Other than this, RHCSA credential is also a prerequisite for professionals who aim to become Red Hat Certified Engineers. Now that I've shared the certification details with you all, it becomes obvious that we know about the exam details as well. The performance-based Red Hat Certified System Administrator exam, that is EX200, has 12 to 18 questions that need to be completed within a stipulated time of two and a half hours. In order to clear the exam, you need to secure at least 70% marks. This exam tests your knowledge and skills in the area of system administration, which is common across a wide range of environments and deployment scenarios. Now let's discuss the scope of Red Hat. A recent report from Linux Foundation and DICE revealed that majority of companies are in need of Linux-based workers desperately. This is because of the adoption of Linux-based systems in a large number of organizations. 
Hence, experienced and certified Linux professionals are paid higher salaries and enjoy better job opportunities as compared to non-certified IT professionals. The survey found that salaries increased by 9% year over year in 2013. That is almost double the 5% increase in salary for all technical jobs. Let's take a look at the data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics for a bigger picture now. According to the latest data from BLS, systems administrators earned on the average close to $70,000 annually with 9 out of every 10 systems administrators working full-time. And from 2010 to 2020, the number of jobs available for system administrators is expected to grow by 27%, which is way faster than the average job growth for all occupations during the same period. Now moving on to database administrators, they need to know the basics of the underlying operating systems that they are using. This includes Linux as well. The median pay for over 1 lakh database administrators in 2010 was more than $73,000 annually. Job prospects for database administrators are quite good, with the BLS forecasting that there will be 31% more jobs for database administrators in 2020, which means a job prospect of close to 1,44,800 DB admin jobs. Lastly, talking about software developers, half of the 9 lakh software developers in the United States earn more than $90,000 a year in 2010. By 2020, it is expected that there will be close to 1.2 million software developers. This represents a 30% growth in a 10-year period. I hope that was good information for you. Since you know a lot about Red Hat now, it makes sense that I share the course specific details for the same with you. In the RHC CSA training at Multisoft, we will cover the modules present on the slide in detail. You can download the complete course outline from our website that is www.multisoftvirtualacademy.com. Now let us expand our horizon of knowledge by moving on to the most value oriented section that's the sneak preview. Here in this section, we will discuss about the concept of logical volume manager. Volume management allows you to share multiple physical disks as a single unit. Also, logical storage volumes provide greater flexibility in a number of ways in comparison to using physical storage directly. Last but not the least, with a logical volume, you are not restricted to physical disk sizes. Now that we've had an overview of LVM, let me move on to discuss its advantages. It provides flexible capacity, that is while using logical volumes, file systems can extend across multiple disks because aggregation of disks and partitions can happen into a single logical volume. Next is that it possesses resizable storage pools which allow you to extend or reduce logical volumes in size with simple software commands without reformatting and repartitioning the underlying disk devices. It also allows disk striping in which a logical volume can be created that stripes data across two or more disks. This can increase the throughput dramatically. Last but not the least, logical volumes provide a convenient way to configure a mirror for your data referred to as mirroring volumes. Another important concept of LVM to be discussed is its components. The components of LVM include physical volumes PV, volumes groups that's VG and logical volumes that is LV. We will understand these components one by one as we move further. The image shown in the slide represents the layout of physical volume. The underlying physical storage unit of an LVM logical volume is a block device such as a partition or whole disk. To use the device for an LVM logical volume, the device must be initialized as a physical volume. Initializing a block device as a physical volume places a label near the start of the device. Physical volumes are combined into volume groups. This creates a pool of disk space out of which logical volumes can be allocated. 
Within a volume group, the disk space available for allocation is divided into units of a fixed size called extents. An extent is the smallest unit of space that can be allocated. Within a physical volume, extents are referred to as physical extents. A logical volume is allocated into logical extents of the same size as the physical extents. The extent size is thus the same for all logical volumes in the volume group. The volume group maps the logical extents to physical extents. In LVM, a volume group is divided into logical volumes. There are three types of LVM logical volumes that are linear volumes, striped volumes and mirrored volumes. Let us look at the cluster view of LVM. The clustered logical volume manager is a set of clustering extensions to LVM. These extensions allow a cluster of computers to manage shared storage, for example on a SAN using LVM. CLVM is part of the resilient storage add-on. The use of CLVM depends on your system requirements that is, if only one node of your system requires access to the storage you are configuring as logical volumes, then you can use LVM without the CLVM extensions and the logical volumes created with that node are all local to the node. Additionally, if you are using a clustered system for failover where only a single node that accesses the storage is active at any one time, then you can also use LVM without the CLVM extensions. If more than one node of your cluster will require access to your storage, which is then shared among the active nodes, then you must use CLVM. CLVM allows the user to configure logical volumes on shared storage by locking access to physical storage while a logical volume is being configured and uses clustered locking services to manage the shared storage. So with that we complete the sneak preview section. I hope you understood the concepts that I explained. Let's now gain insight to how RHCSA online training will happen at Multisoft. When you register with us for the training, we will connect with you as per the pre-decided time and impart training for 30 hours in all. For the exact schedule and each session's duration, you can refer to the training calendar on our website. The training happens through a secure web conferencing tool that allows a real-time learning experience. Once you register with us, we send out event links to you, wherein you log into a collaborative platform. That allows two-way interaction between the student and the trainer through webcam and voice chat. It is as good as a classroom since the whiteboard allows the trainer to transfer knowledge as done in a classroom. The share option lets the experts share files, videos, applications and even desktops. Once you register with us, we provide you 24 by 7 access to an online resource center wherein apart from accessing other training material, you can also attempt 4 assessments and 3 sample exam tests. Apart from these 2 valuable exam oriented resources, you also get access to all related presentations and training videos. This is a sample of the online assessment that will test your knowledge on the various course concepts. All the questions will have few options, out of which you need to select the correct one. At the end of the assessment, you will get the information on the correct answers and reasoning behind the same. Now to summarize the session, this will be a 30 hours instructor-led online training that will be conducted by an experienced instructor. In addition, you will get 24 by 7 access to the learning management system where you can attempt 4 assessments and 3 sample exam tests. After the training, you will also receive a training certificate from Multisoft. This session was an attempt to provide you detailed information about the online RHCSA training program. In order to register for the course or to ask any question, please write to us at info at multisoftvirtualacademy.com.